And as people across Texas get ready to beat the heat, the big question tonight is the state's electric grid ready for the surge in demand. Orco Mana joins us live with what we can expect. Orco. Well, Katira, it's so nice out right now that it's hard to believe in just a few days we're going to see those summer-like temperatures. Experts tell me the grid should be fine. ERCOT supply and demand forecast showing that electric capacity for every day this week is higher than the expected demand. We're going to be seeing and feeling a lot of this this week. Air conditioners blasting in the wake of the hottest days of the year so far in Houston. But more usage means more of a strain on the state's electric grid. Do you foresee any issues this week? Um, I, I don't. Doug Lewin is the host of the Energy Capital podcast, which focuses on Texas energy and power grid issues. He's basing his faith in ERCOT this week on the numbers. We have so much solar and storage on the system right now. It makes a huge difference. ERCOT supply and demand forecast showing that while the expected demand is spiking, so is the available seasonal capacity. They are projecting a peak of just about 84,000 megawatts. And to put that into perspective, the most we've ever used in May, which just happened last year, we were at 77,000. Lewin also telling me that while the mid to upper 90s we're expecting is hot for May, it's not like during the peak summer months. Hey, we're not looking at the 110 kind of area, which is when you really look at things like transformers and some of the other equipment on the electric grid really starting to, to kind of uh, melt down literally and figuratively. Still, if you can't reduce your use, that always helps. And if you do, your energy provider should be able to get you some sweet savings. Whoever the company is, ask them, can I get paid to reduce my use during high price periods? And if you're planning to turn on your air conditioning for the first time this year, there are some tips that we want to share with you. First, make sure that you either replace or clean your air filter, remove anything blocking those vents, and make sure that you check to see if your thermostat is working properly. Reporting live in Houston tonight, Orco Manna, KHOU 11 News. And Orco, I think this is your first summer here. Well, welcome to Texas. <laughs> Thank you. And you can get weather updates from us anytime. Just scan the QR code on your screen to download the KHOU 11 app. Turn on notifications to get an alert sent right to your phone.